Hello Flosstube, it's Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner. It is Saturday, nope, it is Friday. It is Friday, September 13th, um, so uh, Friday the 13th um, of 2019, and I am coming with another update. It's only been two weeks since my last update, but I'm hoping to do these more often. There is a change of background again, because we cleaned up that big spare room upstairs and I have started turning it into the craft room. Um, it, most of my stuff is not in here still. I need to get a lot of shelves. Um, I just have this old creaky <laughs> chair that I sit on and I stitch in. Um, but that's fine because I actually don't mind doing that. Um, and a desk to bring in and things like that. But the process of moving into the room has started, which means I get a film up here. And, um, we did get, uh, nice bright LED lights for my overhead fan to help with seeing things properly. So, um, this light is rather startling, but... Whatever. Um, I'm hoping it'll mean that, though, that, like, colors will show up true and stuff like that when I'm trying to show things. But anyways, um, so I'm here with an update. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to now update more frequently and there'll be shorter updates. So that's really exciting. Since I talked to you guys last, I've had two new starts and I actually have several new starts in the works. Um... Like, one, I'll probably be starting either after this video is done or tomorrow. Uh, my parents come in a week and a half and the house is a disaster, so we're trying to, like, clean up. So I don't really have stitchy time, but I steal it when I can. Um, and I, we're supposed to go to a picnic tomorrow, so not a lot of time but to stitch. But I am in a sal for Cheryl, one of my co-admins in the Stitchy Quest group. It's her birthday and she has had a material pack for quite some time of So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler, charted by Haid. And I had that in the mini form already started, but I hate my material. So I decided to restart it and um, then Haid had a sale, so naturally, I think it was even maybe 50% off, I don't remember. But so naturally, I decided to upgrade from the mini to the regular, and then because I was upgrading, I decided that I might as well go max color because, you know, logic and stuff. But... So I am starting that. The birthday sale is tomorrow and it's for anyone who um, wants to stitch on that project either to start it because you have it stashed and you just haven't started it yet or to continue working on it or if you don't already have it. Some people are just going to work on any Spangler project um, which is totally fine. Uh, it's an unofficial sale so it's not worth any credit for prizes in the group. Um, so. So that's what I'll be starting either after this uploads or tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so I do have my material for that, uh, 28 count easy, easy count grid. Um, Gracie's in here with me, playing on her with her basket. But anyways, so um, here's a black and white of what that looks like. If you want to join, you are more than welcome to join in with us. Um, yeah, it's just for fun. And then, well, I'm talking about future plans because that's the order this usually goes in, right? Um, I will talk about, there is a new kind of group, but it's mainly off of Instagram, and it's called Stitching Book Club, and so for three months, 
the first book is Pride and Prejudice. And so for three months, um, you get one part a month and you, there's assigned chapters and then there's a discussion day where you can discuss the book on Instagram. It was like 10 or $12, I don't remember. It only calls for six colors, which is super awesome. Um, so I did buy that to join. Some people are already finished with the first part and looks good. Um, it looks really good. It says Netherfield Park is let at last. And you never really see like Pride and Prejudice stitchy pieces that have that quote. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, anyways, yeah. So I have pulled my threads for this already. And I know what fabric um, I want to use. I mean, just plain white 28 count Lagana. Um, but I have not started it yet. So, yeah. Um, so the first new start I had is I finally started my German Baltic, uh, Mandala from Chatelaine, which is for my husband. And hang on just a second. That'll stop casting shadows. Um, here is what it looks like. Up close. I've started on some of the sparkly thread. So I'm really happy with this. Um, and how it works. I've only spent two days on this. Last weekend. But I was so happy to finally start it. Um, and then my other new start is I found this on Heaven and Earth Designs. And it reminded me so much of Gracie. Like, that just feels like her little face. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I had to get this. And I decided with this one to do something, to try something I've never really done before. And that is um, to stitch on the diagonal. Like completely diagonal, line by line. So not even in 10, 10 uh, squares, but literally line by line. And I was following Karen Needlebug, um, her method. And then the other thing though is, um, So she recommended Knit Companion. So I went through and I spent days setting up this chart in Knit Companion, cropping every page, making sure they aligned, putting the diagonal on, dealing with it, shutting down like every 100 stitches of a diagonal I marked. But, um, and now everyone's a buzz talking about this other program. Unfortunately, it's not available on iPads and I only have an iPad. And I'm like, can I really justify spending money on an Android device, even though this program looks amazing, for especially for full coverage? Like, just the fact that you can click on a symbol and it will tell you, like, what number it is with it alone, like, especially for super size max, col max colors, has me, like, wanting to go buy an Android. But supposedly there is a plan to come to iPhone, I mean, Apple eventually, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed about that and hoping for the best. But anyways, so here's my very meager start on this one. Um, I either started it yesterday or the day before yesterday, but I, no, it was yesterday. Yeah, it was a new start yesterday. So I am happy with my progress there. And I'm, I'm happy with how the diagonal is uh, doing. So, I like to try different methods on different projects just to see what method really speaks to me. <laughs> the crazy part of me wants to try line by line across the entire chart 
I'm thinking of trying that with the stitch along for Cheryl's. I don't know. I mean, that might be like a little too crazy, but there's a part of me that wants to do it. Um, another project I worked on, and it's been a long time since I've worked on this project, is Woodland Enchantress from Di Dimensions. And that's what it looks like. This is probably my oldest whip. Um, and <laughs> the fabric is stained. It's just, it's a hot mess. I used masking tape on it. I mean, it's a real, like, it's a real mess, guys. Um, but I think it's gorgeous. I don't know. So I put in just over 200 stitches. I, I've i decided I'm gonna try to just finish up these parked threads. Um, this is when I was going through a column by column phase and I still like that method, uh, but I just think that, um, I just think that because dimension changes so much between whether it's like a half stitch or a full stitch, that I just need to complete all the threads till my till my uh, strand runs out. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in the future going forward with this project. So like have a strand, like once this is completed, go to this next column, pick the first one, and until my strand runs out, just stitch with it. Because at least then I know this one, when I go back up to p work on it, like, I mean, there are boxes where you've got half stitches and full stitches over in this one, I mean, using the same color. And so I just need to, um, I need to be able to finish what is on my needle. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so that's what I was doing here. And I finished up three parked threads. Oh my gosh, she just dragged her potty pad. Don't know why she didn't use it. She didn't have an accent yet, but um she dragged it out of place, so. The last cross stitch project that I worked on um, is another one I haven't worked on for a while. And that is Portrait of Veronica by Mirabilia. And I'm doing this, I've been doing this one extreme cross country I might try to put her on the stand after I finish this last little section here because uh, I've also been stitching her in hand. But it's getting more and more difficult. Um, yeah. So this is what I have done on Portrait of Veronica. That's all in her skirt. So I really love this project. Stitching in hand is nice and fast to do, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. So, next, we're going to talk a little knitting. Just a very little. Um, ow. Uh, I stuck a I stuck a cross stitch needle into the strap of this bag and I had forgotten about that. Um so I have been working on a pair of socks and I am actually really happy with how this is progressing. It's not perfect, but I'm a new knitter, so you can't expect perfection, obviously. Um, but 
here it is. This is called the, bless you, Cornish Tea Room Socks or something like that. Um, showing a little washed out, but that's all right. So I've had to use cables and I had to slip four stitches and then knit them. I've never done that before. And then I've had to knit four stitches together. I've knit two together before, but not four. And that is difficult on these little, on these little things, but it's turning out really good and I'm super happy with it. Um, I try to put in a row or two on my, uh, morning and afternoon break my like 15 minute break 10 15 minutes whatever the back is just plain so it's nice when i get to that section and i can just knit in it this is supposed to be um magic loop so a longer cable and then you pull it through so i'm using two stitch markers to denote where that's meant to be and, um, yeah, so I'm really happy with it. And I love this hand dyed yarn. It's just, it's gorgeous. And this one is, um, Secret Garden. And there it is in my project back, so. Um, the next knitting project I wanted to talk about is one I showed you in my last video and that is um, I've not made any progress on this since I showed it to you guys this MCAL and the reason I haven't made any progress oops and actually oh actually that was the back this is the front um, the reason I haven't made any progress is because I got behind on the MCAL anyways and I started seeing updates of um, what it was looking like and I didn't like how it was turning out. Um, turns out there's like two sections and then you pick up stitches along the side so then it like kind of frames in those two sections and it's just, I prefer like more symmetrical designs. Um, where you split it down the middle and both sides look the same. So this is not that. So I'm thinking about reclaiming this yarn. And I have found several other three skein shawl patterns that interest me that are finished so I know what they look like. And I'm thinking about doing one of those instead. And I talked to Katrina from The Crafty Curator I'm pretty sure that's Katrina's channel. Anyway, she's fantastic, and I will try to link it below. Um, but anyway, so I was talking to her about it, and we both agree that that would probably be best, and that would suit me best is if I just reclaimed my yarn and put it towards something else. Because, I mean, it is a lovely yarn combination. Um, just to remind you guys, of what it looks like oops got a little yarn throw up there but yeah so it's a love wait taken all over lovely yarn combination um it, it was a kit I bought so this is not me like tuning my own horn I'm not great at putting colors together but so it's a lovely combination and I just think it's more um, for me, it would be better on another another project. So I am going to um, frog this whip. Um, I'm probably not gonna start the new project with this yarn right away because um, there is a different project I wanna start that I am pretty excited about. And um, so this is a yarn pack I got from Bluebird Yarns. 
my favorite yarn and dyer on Etsy. And um, her, her, her or her daughter, her daughter's Etsy is Story Weaver Yarns. I love both of them. Um, but anyways, so I bought this a little while ago. It's called Autumn at Longbourn, the set. And um, I'm going to pull it out so you can see it better. It came with this nice little... And they even put stickers on it. So, I mean, that's a nice personal touch. Um, anyway, so here is the yarns together. And this is a nice green, like a very deep, or maybe teal, like a very dark teal. And um, it matches a few flecks in here. So um, what I am wanting to start is this. Um, em Emiliana, I think is how you would say that. It's two colors. Um, and so I would really want to do this one. So I'm going to cake up these, steal this project bag over here to, and the needles probably. Um, my aim is to only have like one hand dyed shawl going at a time and one hand dyed socks going at a time so that my whips don't get too out of control. Which means actually I think I have two shawls going. Maybe I should just up that number to three. Okay, I'll let myself have three going at a time because you know, variety is the spice of life. But um, I don't want everything to get too out of control. So the number of knitting whips I have because <laughs> the crochet whips and the cross stitch whips are already so out of control. But anyways, so that is my soon to be cast on uh, plant, knitting plants. Oh, you know what? I have one other cross stitch whip I forgot to show you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I did end up working some more on Silent Night Lane. And, oh my gosh, what... What did you even do? I, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I didn't even. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I just wonder about myself. Okay, whatever, whatever. I'll just leave a dangle. Okay. I did work some more over here. Brought some yellow down. So. I'm, I'm just working with park threads. Even though I have my master set of DMC back, I'm still just trying to clear up some of these park threads. Um, so, there is that. <clears throat> um... So the final thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this dilemma I have at present because I don't know what to do. I'm hoping someone will advise me down in the comments. Um, just let me get a sip real quick. This is a, I normally don't like herbal um cold teas but i decided to try this one i was getting gas at the gas station i was super thirsty and this is cherry hibiscus it's actually really good so i will actually get that again but anyways so my dilemma okay like a month or two before my wedding i ordered did i get a bonus or something i think i got a bonus at work or something like that and so I decided to like splurge on this 
crochet hook set that I've been eyeing for a while on Etsy and came in this nice little bag and they are all like wands the hooks and they're all like wands and I mean they're super awesome right they're so cute they have an off-putting scent to tell you the truth and they're kind of sticky in my hand so that's not my favorite but I might just like more decorate with them like put them so they just look pretty in a cup on my desk or something I don't know um, but anyways so that's not the dilemma the dilemma is that I also ordered at the same time from that shop because it was coming from England a Slytherin um, crochet hook now all of this like after I got a notification that she had shipped it and she didn't send a shipping tracker with it after about a month of waiting for that I contacted her and I was like I still haven't received them um, um, I don't know what to do type of situation and she's like oh a couple of a couple that I shipped at the same time have been missing so I'll go ahead and ship you another set so this is the replacement set that she sent to me so there was already an issue there and um, I was just happy she sent another one the originals never showed up uh, she said if they showed up I could just gift them to someone but they never showed up so I get them and this Slytherin one I don't know if you guys can see um, it's got this over here it's like when she was setting the clay the needle cracked or something anyways I tried to crochet with it my yarn kept catching it it's very rough to the skin it's horrible it, I cannot crochet with this and this is not me being over dramatic I just it's not possible it ruins your yarn and so I contacted her and I'm like I'm really sorry about this I tried to take pictures to show it and she was like no problem I'll get you one in the mail and that was like beginning of July I think it finally arrived the replacement yesterday and this is the frustrating part it's a Ravenclaw one and like it's pretty and I have nothing against Ravenclaws but I ordered a Slytherin one and also this is a five and I ordered a four you can see it's it's in the clay she marks it so you can see so that's a five this was originally I ordered a four and I just don't know what to do because I've already contacted her several times about problems with this order. You know, it never coming in the first place. And then this being cracked. And do I contact her again and be like, thanks for sending it like two months later, but this is the wrong hook size and it's the wrong house? I mean, I... I really don't know what to do because I hate to be that person that just complains about everything and sends things back like sends orders back and stuff like that I'm not that person and so I hate to complain again but and I also know that it costs her because she's sending from the UK here to America and she's having to make these and send them instead of selling them so I know that it costs her money but at the same time I spent my money and this is not Slytherin it's not a size 4 it's it's lovely but it's not what I ordered and I just really don't know what to do about that like what do you guys recommend and I really please tell me what you recommend 
um, because I don't know what to do. I didn't contact her yesterday or today because I don't know what to do. And um, so any opinions down in the comments would be greatly appreciated. <sighs> Jeez Louise. I mean, it's lovely, but it's just not, you know. Anyways, the wands are lovely here in my, oops, <laughs> in my Harry Potter bag. Um, I'm hoping that they'll be easier to work with in the winter when my hands aren't like as clammy sweaty as they get here in the summer. Um, I'm so looking forward to fall and winter. Winter here in California is pretty mild. Um, so I always look forward to that. Anyways, um, I think I did like only like two more hats, baby hats. So I'm way behind my mark for that. So I need to work on that, um, and get that done as a group. I believe we're at like 60 something. I think someone did 14 already. So super impressive. Um, but yeah, that's my update for today. And I will hope to be back either next week or the week after that. I'm aiming for every week or every two weeks. Um, I really wanna get back into the swing of things and now that life is settling down a bit more, it's more possible, so. I need to go check where my little munchkin went to because that usually means trouble. And I will talk to you guys later, bye.